but you got to look at some rubble, so, you know, don't say I don't treat you. Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. You join me in a random quarry in Dorset. Why? Because I'm here with the brand new Isuzu D-Max. Now, it will of course be a first drive video. In fact, that video may already be on the channel, but I thought actually there's quite a lot of information to go through with this vehicle. This is the third generation. And I thought, you know what, let me actually do a walk around video, which is quite unusual for me to do at one of these kind of events. But um, hey, when in Rome, or in this case, Dorset, so, Yes, the brand new Isuzu D-Max. Now, there are four trim levels and they come in three ranges. So you've got business, which gives you your utility trim level. So you've got uh, three utilities here. You've got the single cab, the extended cab, and the double cab. The um, double cab and extended cabs come with 18 inch steel wheels to give it, give it that bit more of that uh, drawability, that ruggedness, whereas the single cab comes with 16 inch um, steel wheels. I will come back to these in a few moments. You'll have to excuse my hand. Uh, today has been very frantic and I've got loads of notes written on my hand. It gives you an idea how fast paced these kind of days are. So I'll try to keep this video short because these cars are soon to depart. Um, you then, then got the DL20 and the DL40. These form the all purpose range and the DL stands for diff lock because these cars, well, these pickups have it as standard. And you've got the range topping, V-Cross. This is more of you, this is more aimed towards your lifestyle market, whereas the um, the all-purpose vehicles, the DL20 and the DL40, these, these are more for commercial use for builders, farmers. Whereas the uh, the utility, the business um, range, is more for fleet use. Now, let's kick off with the utility trim level. Now, because I haven't got to, a lot of paperwork to hand and this is quite a uh, ad hoc video uh, i will be putting information on the screen as well as the prices so be sure to look out for that but as part of the utility trim level it is it is a more utilitarian uh, spec i was i would use the word basic but i think that would be rude it's more drawable so of course i've mentioned the uh, the strong steel wheels you've got the plastic bumpers to protect for, for stone chips or if you want to be doing a bit of off-roading uh, these cars um, have four-wheel drive as well so of course that helps to protect the front end and of course the door uh, door mirrors and the uh, handles they're also finished in plastic as is the rear bumper so again that helps just to give a more rugged drawable finish to the vehicle now the third generation the tagline as you can see in the background is smarter stronger safer now in regard to the smarter section and uh, that is linked to uh, better technology inside the car and the overall looks and finish of both the exterior and interior which, which i will show you in due course stronger well the vehicle itself is stronger it's quite straightforward and safer again that's quite straightforward as standard even on the utility trim level you've got at the front a rain and light sensor uh, sensor sorry I went a bit dutch there so <laughs> a line at oh my god a light and rain sensor this is what happens when you rush you 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 f up your words um yes a rain and light sensor as well as not one but two cameras so this means this has adas and that means this is the first pickup to get five stars from Euro NCAP through the new testing. As standard, even on the utility trim level, you get autonomous emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, um, and that also extends to the double cab, which, if I just come around here like so. So the double cab also has radars mounted in the rear bumper, which is, something um, some competitors can't offer or at least in a kind of like for like trim level so because you've got the radars in the rear bumper that means you also get um, blind spot monitoring rear cross traffic alert uh, rear cross traffic alert sorry again I'm rushing and um, you also get can't think of what's called to hand but I think it's emergency lane uh, intervention so let's say um, you've got a car coming 
on well on either side really you go to go out of your lane the, the vehicle will pull you back into your lane to avoid an accident very nice and safe uh, if you go for an, a six-speed automatic which by the way is now 25 percent faster you get adaptive cruise control as well which again is uh, is uses the uh, two camera system or the stereo camera system as isuzu refer to it as now in regard to dimensions the overall d-max as a whole is 30 millimeters uh, shorter but the wheelbase has been extended by 30 millimeters that means there's more space inside i will take it inside in a few moments the load bed is also 30 millimeters deeper and you may think well hang on if it's deeper it's going to be more difficult to reach in and get items uh, well isuzu are ahead of you on that one because you've now got this integrated rear step into the bumper so you can literally put your foot up like so and grab what you need if you go to a double cab like so sorry to keep swapping from vehicle to vehicle open it up and you'll see look it's got dampers so it opens nicely and smoothly so you don't get that, that clack, 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 as the uh, tailgate slams down and it's all nice and smooth smooth like velvet now for what it's worth you don't get the same kind of uh, functionality on the single cab uh, the reason being quite often these are converted anyway so it seems silly to um to give you something that will not be used so if i pull this you'll see it's a more basic affair i believe the same extends to the um extended cab or well, i may just be talking rubbish i am talking rubbish apologies For some reason i thought the extended cab uh, it didn't have the uh, the damping um uh, tailgate right so as promised i'll take you inside the vehicle so this is of course the uh utility single cab the uh the most um basic model but i use the word basic as a as a compliment because um compared to the other models this is basic but you still get a uh, driver's seat which is six way adjustable yes of course it's manual but it's still better than its competitors and you also got a lumbar support which again is pretty good you may have spotted the tall gear lever this is of course a six speed manual um, in regard to what powers the vehicle it is a 1.9 litre turbocharged diesel which offers 164 horsepower along with 360 newton meters of torque as mentioned you can have a six speed manual or a six speed automatic take you inside the car you may be able to see the lighting's a bit iffy but you do have a nice digital display in the uh, in the middle there and uh, it's, a, it's a practical affair as well because you've got a little cubby here like so and maybe pop a few smaller items in there um you've got these nifty cup holders here well i say cup holders they're more can holders but better still you can actually move the uh, cup holder element away and you've got a small tray you can use instead i like that uh, the, the passenger side also has the same and for some of the um more plush trim levels you also get um center storage but i will show you that you get a glove box as well which is uh, yeah, a fair enough size but there we go you get DAB radio as standard and Bluetooth as you can see there's no touch screen so it is a more um, I, I don't the word basic keep, keeps coming to mind but it's not quite as plush as the other models but of course um, this is the base model you do get aircon though and as you can see you've got the uh, uh, controls there for the four wheel drive so you've got uh, two wheel drive so it's rear wheel drive Four wheel drive, or you've got the um, locking uh, four wheel low range. So I was going to say locking diff, but the locking diff is on the uh, higher trim levels. You've got the extended cab here. The interior is uh, the same. Uh, this one has got a factory fit touchscreen, so don't let that fool you. Uh, it isn't standard. And uh, one thing that is standard, though, even though Isuzu you have to pay more to produce it is this vinyl flooring hopefully you can see it normally this, this would be carpeted but to make this uh, model more drawable more rugged and easier to upkeep the flooring is vinyl so if you've got muddy work boots it will be um easier to keep clean i like that also actually whilst i'm here uh, no actually i'll touch upon that when i head over to the double cab so again this is a another utility you can tell it by the plastic bumpers the steel wheels 
and the door handles and um, door mirrors. In the double cab, you have no less than eight grab handles. So one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So got the ones at the rear there. And that's pretty good. You also get eight airbags as standard. If you go for a um, single cab or extended cab, you get seven airbags because you get one for the driver's uh, knee. But in the double cab, you get uh, eight because you get a cent central airbag as well. Just give you a quick look at the interior. And uh, give me a few moments to get my breath back because yeah, these kind of days are very frantic and very busy. Uh, one good thing about the um, the Max has lots of good things about it. Uh, unlike it's some of its competitors, the rear seats actually fold flat. So if I pull that like so, it may not go down because, um, oh no, it will go down. I thought the uh, front seats were too far back, but as you can see, it folds nice and flat, uh, making the interior more practical and versatile. I like that. And then to pop them back up, it's nice and easy. Click them into place, no dramas. And you can do it, as you can see, one-handed, which is good if you've got your hands full up. We then, then move on to the um, DL20, which gives you 18-inch uh, alloys, finishing silver, silver door handles, and door, uh, sorry, um, body coloured door mirrors. Open, open it up. You see you've got a different design to the uh, gear lever. The seats are different as well. And you get heated front seats in this one, which is quite nice. You get a bit more storage as well. So you get a cubby hole up here like so, nice and handy. And you get not one, but two glove boxes. If I come around this way, which is the longer way around, don't quite know why I did that. But you've got to look at some rubble, so, you know, don't say I don't treat you. And there we go, you've got the top glove box there and the bottom one there, like so. Bring on to the DL40, that gives you um, the chrome side step chrome door handles, door mirrors, and you get chrome finishing to the front grille, and you get the bi-LED headlights. In fact, all of the lights on this uh, model are LEDs. Step inside, and you'll spot the leather seats. Very nice indeed. And you've got the uh, six-speed automatic. The touchscreen, I believe, is seven inches. Uh, it doesn't have Android Auto, which is, in my opinion, disappointing. And so I'm sorry, Izuzu. There's not much to, uh, to, critique, to critique at this point, but Look at the bezel on that. That touchscreen is just lost. Um, yeah, that's a really big, thick bezel. As you can see, you've got dual zone climate control. Um, with this trim level, you also get uh, front and rear parking sensors, as well as a reversing camera. I forgot to mention on the DL20, you get rear parking sensors. And uh, you also got bi-tone alloys. They're still 18 inch, the same kind of design, but you get a two-tone to the finish. And as you can see, you've got the uh, LED rear lights compared to... Man, I, I used to be so much fitter. Need to get back in the gym. Um, and then this brings us onto the V-Cross, which again, it's got the uh, reversing camera, which is um, integrated into the um, rear handle. Rear parking sensors. This is finished in pearl white, which is exclusive for the uh, V-Cross. You can't have this paint in any other trim level. You've got the gunmetal finishes, so the gunmetal alloys, which you can't quite see because the lighting is a bit iffy. Door handles, door mirrors, and the front grille are also finished in a quite um, smart looking gunmetal gray. Again, inside, you've got leather seating. It's worth noting, uh, that you get a power adjustable front seat, eight way adjustable, and the lumbar support is actually electronic, not manual, I think. Do you get the, um, I can't remember whether the DL40 gets the uh, uh, power adjustable. It does, it does, there we go. Just in case you were wondering, I've, hopefully I've clarified that for you. Inside you get a large touchscreen, which I believe is nine inches, and as you can see, it uh, fills the display much better. There's still a bit of a bezel, but nowhere near as much. And yeah, quite a smart looking car. You know, to look at for a pickup truck, the interior I think is really smart. And, and that, that again um, denotes the, the smarter version, sorry, the smarter section of the new slogan. There we go. 
Now, I would test rear space, but none, none of the driver seats are set up for me, so I think it'd be kind of pointless. I'm six foot two, I'm a tall guy, therefore it's always a good uh, barometer for me to step inside a car. But bearing in mind, this could be this could be uh, designed for, this could be set up for a short arse. I could have loads of space and go, wow, it's so spacious in the back, which might be a bit of a red herring. Um, but yes, I know it's quite a, a quick uh, whistle-stop tour of the uh, D-Max. Just to finish off with a few uh, facts I've got scribbled on my hand. Um, so this is new to the UK, but in fact, this has been in Thailand since 2019. And in fact, uh, in that country, it has reached record sales. Sorry for the uh, slight camera shake, I almost fell over a bit of rubble. Um, in Australia, where it was introduced um, August last year, it has sold out and in the UK there is high demand. Uh, wading depth, in case you're wondering, is 800 milli um, millilitres, sorry, millimetres. And anything else to go through with you now? Not too sure if I've mentioned it already, but because of the uh, new safety systems, this is the first pickup truck to get five stars from Euro NCAP using the new testing. I'm pretty sure I did mention that. But yeah, hopefully um, you've got a good insight into this vehicle. Again, I apologise, it's quite a rushed affair, but uh, these cars are due to go out. I thought I'd quickly take this uh, this moment of downtime to quickly uh, finish, the, uh, well, to film a video. Uh, speaking of uh, finishing, I do need to finish up because there are people behind me getting uh, a bit keen to get driving. They've had their lunch, they want to crack on. So yes, um, I think I will leave it there. Man, I'm getting so out of breath now. I'm so unfit. Uh, yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed that video or found it useful. If so, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.